how data scientists can make a bank profitable. So for that, we need to understand the profit and loss metrics of a bank or the PNL metrics. But before we go ahead, for those of you who are new to our channel and like the type of content we share, please subscribe to Scientist Express and hit the like icon. Banks make money by charging interest. That is the source of the revenue. Now we need to understand what is the cost metrics. The money that the banks are lending to you is coming from probably somebody's FD or RD or somebody's saving account or maybe the bank itself is borrowing from some other bank. So there is always a cost of fund. For example, if they are giving you FD interest rate of 6% and that money they are lending to somebody else, the cost of fund for that money is already 6%. Now every 100 rupees they lend, some part of the money never comes back. For a tier 2 bank or a tier 1 bank, between 8 to 10% of the money they lend, it never comes back. And that is called the cost of default. Now, banks also need to spend a lot of money in branding. Like for IDFC bank, they have Amitabh Bachchan as the brand ambassador. ICICI bank has Shah Rukh Khan as the brand ambassador. That is the marketing cost. This is called COCA, cost of customer acquisition. This cost is approximately 2%. Now there is all the employees and their salaries so that is called the OPEX or the operational expenditure. So if you put together all these four cost metrics, the cost of fund, cost of default, COCA and OPEX, it will come to around 20%. Now the bank's interest rate needs to be more than that to make it profitable. Now if your CEO wants to make the profit double for the bank next quarter, the metric or the lever that you have as a data scientist is targeting the cost of default. Now here there are two ways, for the new customers coming in there you can build a model that's an application scorecard where it can predict which customers can turn bad and as per the prediction you decline a good chunk of those bad customers and you significantly reduce the cost of default. From the 10% cost of default if you can reduce it to 5 then probably if the bank already had a 5% margin say the cost was 20% and the bank was charging interest rate at 25% in say personal loan unsecured portfolio and there you are giving additional 5% margin so literally you are doubling the margin. Similarly for the existing customers when banks give top up or renewal. What happens when you have a credit card? You might get a call saying sir you have been our valued customer and we are happy to announce that your credit limit has been increased from 2 lakhs to 3 lakhs. So how are they doing it? They are doing it by running a behavior score. So this is another scorecard, a credit risk model. Banks run for existing customers for cross-sell, upsell, top-up or renewal. And the idea of running this behavior score is again to target the cost of default metrics. The cost of default is the biggest tag in the cost metrics of a bank. As a data scientist, you can help in building the application scorecard and behavior scorecard and that can literally significantly reduce the cost of default and translate that benefit into business margin. The application scorecard and the behavior scorecard are the most impactful data science use cases for banks in consumer banking, MSME banking, microfinance, NBFCs and fintech lenders. So that is where you need to focus to multiply profits in the lending business. In case you have any questions, please feel free to write it in the comment section below. We will be there to help. And if you want to know more about the courses that we offer, please call us on the given number below. That's it for today. See you later. Bye.